Black Bottle Bargain Basement blend of Scotch Whiskey at 18 quid. Is it a bargain buy or should you avoid it? Well, let's get into it and see what I think. What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. It's great to have the pleasure of your company once again. In this day and age, with prices rising, wages, well, either going down or staying steady, you have to look at some bargain pours. So when this uh, black bottle appeared at my local Tesco a few months ago, I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up because it's only 18 quid. I remember seeing a few reviews of it in recent years. It's never been seen in the wild where I live because of when the sticks. And then it went down to 13 quid on a clear sale. And being the stingy bugger I am, I had a voucher in Tesco and it went down to 12 quid. So like, it'd be rude not to pick it up. So what are we looking at here? Well, it's a it's a blended whiskey. It's 40% ABV and there's not really much more to say about it. Well apparently it's a secret recipe inspired by the original one crafted by Gordon Graham made with a high proportion of bolts and it, according to the website here it says it figures a shovel full of peated malts from the hallowed Isle of Isla including the super smoky wine from Bonhaven. Well that's good and it's balanced out with some I own pitted malts and axe bourbon cast matured grains and I'm not going to go through all the other faff but apparently they use a mix of medium and heavily charred casks where they fluff it up with word salad to make it seem better than it bloody is and I apparently it was established way back in 1879 and contrary to what I look like in popular opinion I was not drinking it since then so let's get right into it. On the nose, if you've got a pour of this or something similar, bring a wee dram into your glass and we'll drink along together because whiskey's, after all, always better shared. Slancha. We've got toffee and oak straight off on the nose. And there is a bit of smoke. It's like woody smoke. A uh, wood burning, not in a campfire, but in a like a kitchen fire, like, well, if you're an old timer like me, you remember the, the, the fires in your living room and it, it, it gives off vibes of that. And then that smoke, it becomes a wee bit fruity and that fruit is a wee bit like an orange. And then there's a wee bit of plum comes in there. It's like an orange plum blend. And then there's honey, vanilla, a wee touch of ice and sugar, a bit of seaweed, some charred oak it's pretty nice on the nose you know for a 40 percent abv a blend there's a lot coming through there on the nose and you know what it's really very very pleasant so let's get into the palate and uh, see how it goes there cheers now it comes a wee bit more alive here on the palate the nose is really nice lots going on wee bit subdued but here now we've got that ashy campfire smoke dark chocolate espresso coffee a wee bit of creme brulee too with a wee bit wee bit of a, a burnt cap note do you remember those well you have to be of a certain age those wee guns you used to get in the 70s and 80s when you were a wee fella and, uh, and you were able to pull that line of caps through it and whenever you pulled the trigger you got that wee whiff of smoke that cappy smoke and this is what this is like and it's really quite nice but anyway let's go in again dark toffee creme brulee creme brulee with a bit of a A fire burnt uh, thing going on at the top. 
sea spray or a wee bit of brininess. Do you know what? This is for 18 quid. It's pretty fucking impressive, I have to say. You know, so let's 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 try the finish, and then we'll give it a score. Now the mouthfeel is oily, but it's ashy as well. It's pretty much coating the tongue, the whole palate, eh, pretty well, but mostly the tongue rather than the sides or the back, and the finish I would say is medium. It's it's pleasing. It has that lovely ashy, lightly smoky feel, and it's just I can't say a real bad word about it. You know, for eighteen quid, get it in clearance at uh, thirteen or less. There's nothing not to like about this. Yeah, sure. It's not a big in-your-face whiskey. It's not something that will make you go, wow. But when you pay 18 quid or less for it, it will make you in some ways go, wow, how in the hell can they make this so cheap? So would I recommend it? Hell yeah. This will be a staple on my shelf from now on. I'm really impressed with it. It's a good whiskey and I really like it. So the score is going to be 84. Just a wee tip below, very good. I'm really enjoying it. So thanks folks for your ongoing support. Thanks to my long term subscribers. Thanks to the new subscribers. And thanks especially to you guys who are my patrons who help me keep this channel going. So please like, comment, subscribe, even share it if you feel the need. And until the next time, please look after yourselves, look after each other, and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Bonjour.